hi guys and welcome back to another video so just starting off in this video we're going to be going through all the finishes like painting plastering and um, skirting flooring etc so we're just going to blast through it all really um, just a few highlights at this stage of the build we're in a rush bit of a time constraint so i just had to get as much as i could done as fast as i could and i did accidentally miss a few steps but um, hopefully you get the whole gist of it by the time we get to the end of this video so firstly the plastering we had someone come in and do the plastering really cheap pretty much like the next week um, i learned from my lesson because going through this video now there was lots of issues with the uh, plastering they pretty much scraped on really thin dense scratches lumps bumps trial marks anything you name you could probably find it rounded corners scrim tape showing through so we weren't overall impressed but really that's my own fault for going for the cheapest quote now i am a bit fussy um, when it comes to the final finish i did expect to be able to just paint the walls without having to sand or fill but unfortunately we had to do a lot of that so i'm just gonna leave you guys with this video now just to uh, flick through all the finishes um so hopefully you enjoy it if you like it give it a thumbs up and we'll catch you at the end of the video hey guys so i've just finished filling and sanding or sanding filling and sanding again um so you can see all the white bits have just touched up with filler and sanded over natasha started cutting in with the first mist coat of paint i started rolling the first layer of mist coat you can see the patches which we have filled um which i hadn't taken quite yet so that'll be a few coats first just working our way through um but it's not gonna look too bad now once it's done get a few mist coats on hopefully by tomorrow morning we can start rolling the proper final colors on and then once I've done that, I can start rubbing down the skirting, prime them, because um, we're just going to have square MDF skirting, which I'm going to cut ourselves. Um, and then we're just going to do a detail around the door. I'm going to have MDF reveals, and then architrave going around is all going to be an anthracite. So it's going to match the doors, carry around there, go up and over, and all the way around the floor. So it just looks like a nice detail. So yeah, I'm going to get a mist coat on. Light rub down, another mist coat, uh, see if there's anything I've missed sand, uh, sanding and filling. Um, we'll go from there. Um, it is a messy job, as you can see. Water down paint will flick everywhere, so you just got to be careful on the doors and windows. And I'm just going to get a wet rag and just wipe it down as we go along. So that's where we're at at the moment. Um, Natasha's just started putting the third coat of paint on here, white, um, not watered down, just full, normal contract tray paint um, just white to get a solid base coat because we are having a paint called timeless um, so i got all the sockets cut out ready so i can just drill a hole through pull the cable through got the light switch i got ventilation for um, some equipment of natasha's we got four sockets down there and that's where all the equipment's going to be mainly going and then the socket behind the chair just over there um, there's going to be a radiator where those two holes are and then there's going to be another radiator just down by here Just so we've got plenty of heat in the winter just in case um, So once I get all these stripped down, we're going to move them inside Carry on painting. I need to mark out all the holes for the lights um, So I can cut them once the painting's all done And then we are pretty much ready to start sticking the floor in um, Natasha will be undercoating, prim well, priming undercoating and top coating the MDF so it's um, all outside ready for installing. I think I might just no more nails all over on because it's only 12 mil thick uh, MDF. So getting there slowly, it's probably going to take us until next weekend to get this all finished now. Um, but then we've got a week hopefully before we need to move out the other office, we move everything in here and have a nice office space. The only thing we're finding is we haven't done anything with the garden, so we've just put slabs down at the moment, but the floor's getting soaking by here from the rain. We're gonna have to find a nice sort of runner entrance mat for around here. So that's where we're at at the moment. 
So hopefully by the next time I make your video, we should be into some final finishing, second fix, carpentry, flooring, and all that hyper jazz. Hey guys, so I'm just cleaning out the rollers. Um, we've just done a day of painting in the office. Had a few mist coats yesterday, a few top coats today, ready for all the colour. Um, I've cut out all the spotlights as well, um, cut out all the sockets ready uh, for the back boxes, and then I can pull the cables through. Um, we went to Dulux the other day, um, and I've seen this, so it would just be a good idea. Purdy tool, it's a scraper, it's got a roller scraper, it's got a tin opener, um, and just sort of like a curved edge. Um, I thought it was pretty cool because you can squeeze all the excess paint out of your roller and it'll save you one washing all the way down the drain and then two you can save a little bit of paint which I thought was pretty cool. So I'm just cleaning out the rollers now for the evening and I'm going to call it night and then tomorrow after work we're going to come back in, a few little spots of uh, fitting to do and then a couple more uh, coats of brand new paint and should be done. Alright guys, so we are just priming the skirts in our trays and the reveals that um, we've done up about here. I've got these are my reveals in my art trays, these are the skirt ins. Um, so I'm going to coat them white, give them a sand down, seal any, well, make sure it's all sealed, rub down any rough edges. Then we're going to undercoat it in a dark grey, and then once that's done, we're going to give it another light rub down. And then the final colour is going to be the Rowl 7016, which is the outside grey to match the doors and windows. Um, it's going to go around the doorway as an arc tree and reveal across the floor as a skirting, back around the window, and then right around the room, back up around the door. So that's what we're doing at the moment. The walls have all had a solid white colour, finishing one final coat on the ceiling, and then we're going to stick the tiniest paint on the wall, and then we're pretty much good to go to put all the sockets, lights in, and get the skirting on floor in.
All right, guys, so we've just started doing the laminate flooring. I've got my underlay going in, uh, just so I don't crush it. I'm doing one row at a time and then a few rows of flooring. And I'm gonna work all my way, uh, all the way back from the front to the back. Um, so to get my first row spot on, I've run a line against the wall, so it's all parallel with the wall. Measured the gap from there to the door, which is 65 mil all the way along. And what I've done now is I've just marked in about five mil in away from the reveal. I've marked in five mil in from the reveal that end. I've left a five mil gap all the way around the edge for plow for expansion. Um, so I did add the two other boards down. So I've marked in five mil from the reveal, 65 mil in all the way down. This section is going to be cut out and 65 mil on that rip. It's going to come out so it should sit around there, notch around. And that's going to be the hardest bit of this job. A little bit of notching around that window over there. Um, and then it's just all straight cuts either end until we get to the back where it's just all slanted. So I'm going to slowly work my way through. And as I get so far out, I'm going to move all my materials back over onto the flooring and I can just carry on and hopefully get most of the floor finished tonight. Hey right, guys, so with laminate floor, it's probably one of the most easiest DIY things to do. Um, you get your, uh, well, technically a female and male edge. And what you want to do is you want to have the lip that locks in facing towards you and whichever end this lip starts will determine where you're going. So we've got a lip on the front and on the left. So we've got to start in the far right corner and work away left, uh, right to left and then down back towards ourselves. So this is quite easy to stick in. Just slot in on that back groove, clutch up to the edge, make sure your tongue's all the way in, and as it comes down, just clicks in. And then same all the way along, and he's clicked in. And you just carry that process all the way through, and that's your laminate flooring. Right guys, so as you can see, we've got the flooring almost done. Um, with the underlay, we bought exactly 24 square meters. We had a few little patches. We had to patch in with a few tiny little squares, but we could make it all cover. And now we are literally in the last corner of the room. I've got this corner left. Look at these two full boards. We've got a couple of off cuts here, and then we've got a few damaged boards there, which we can't use, unfortunately and a few more rips there. So we bought exactly 24 square, square meters again, and we have just scraped by, and I think these last couple of cuts now, we'll do this and finish it neatly. So I'm just gonna finish that now. Natasha's laid out the skirting. Um, we've gone with the dark anthracite skirting to match the doors over there and the windows. So I think tomorrow, after I've done the electrics, these will be going on. So yeah, we're almost there on the home run. Once that's done, electrics in, lights in the ceiling, consuming it up in the corner with the RCD protection, wire line, cables to the house, we got power. The only thing I got left to do then is to run a conduit all the way down the side of the house um, in the wall and bring in an ethernet cable or CAT6 cable to power our um, access route, router, router, whatever you call them. And that's all we got left to do. Right, we just got our first radiator on the wall. Um, it's got some dead pixels on the top on the LCD screen. So I'm gonna take that off, box it back up and change it on Monday um, for a new one. So I'm just about to put the second one on, which is on the floor here. Um, it's pretty simple. It comes with a template, uh, which is this bit here. We've got the five, number five, two, 2000 watts. So we've got the spacings you need to do. I just put a laser level on the wall originally before we painted. Mark the positions um, and put a screw in each so I left a hole so I don't have to pencil mark all over the wall. Um, and then all I'm gonna do is just quickly check the level. 
before it goes on and as you can see there that is almost perfectly level so I'll do a, a minor adjustment on the height over there that I can stay where it is and then the radiator literally just hooks over into these little lugs on the back with some screws and that's it so I'm going to chuck this one on and we'll be good to go I got shit to do, the aftermath of preparation Good food, good mood, blood in circulation One step at a time, yeah that's how you make it